Hello folks and welcome back to Warhammer 40k Mechanicus. This time we have a connection to Steam again, so it knows that we have the DLC. So everything that was broken last time is now fixed again. Um, Sarjackal has the base 30 critical chance, plus 20% there, plus 20% from the Xenorite legs. We're back to normal, um, which means we carry on with missions. Um, this mission, I think, is the Heart of Darkness in the Ubjao sector. Find this Katsari Alpha to get the level 3 Vanguard. Again, additional tech priest. I'm not sure if we're going to use additional tech priest, but it's there anyway. Let's go straight into this, though. Let's go straight into this. We'll keep the money in case I want to get an additional tech priest actually doing stuff for me. Um, Subdomina Kepra has reported a rogue Katsari Alpha who has lost his mind in the two Ubjao. Quiet phone. Find him and bring him back, or eliminate him that is, if that is possible. Go. Uh, we have take uh, you, you, you. I'm going to take you as well. Go. A serious matter has come to my attention, Vegas. I fear I can only discuss it with you directly. My tech priest of my ancient time, manpower resources of Domino. Is sure to prove the over time. It is. One of the Skatari officers has broken his strategic thought conditioning and disappeared from our comms net. The conditions in the tomb of Rubjow have caused a complete psychological breakdown. In short, he has gone mad. It's impossible. I am a tier one mode of threat. I return shock on the prospect. No way to bring this to me. It must be dealt with swiftly and discreetly. Can't have people going nuts. That's a bad thing. I can narrow down the Alpha's last location, but it's an approximate target at best. You'll have to find him. My tech priests will locate and neutralize the wayward soul. What intelligence do we have in the microactivity in the area? The Alpha broke under fire. The Necrons he was fighting will still be there. And Magos, when you find him, what logic demands must be done, must be done. Well, keep my life as possible, if, 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 but if not possible, because we have got mission there, mission there, a couple of fights there. Again, priority here is to have as little, as little, um, thing as possible, as little, um, Come on, Nemo, you can use the word. As little effect as possible. You could be an alpha, but then again, you won't be the only human bleeding this too. The cord picks up human tracks and smeared blood, leading deeper into the tomb. A verse. Find a route parallel to the trail in case it is just trapped later by Necrons. Eager. Follow the trail as quickly as possible. This might be a chance to catch up with the wayward alpha. Or aware. Proceed with caution. We've all got their own sort of positives and negatives. Again, it really does make a difference. Chase. The court proceeded to the plunge only to find the trail ends not in the officer, but a regular Skatari trooper. He seems to have become wounded and separated from his unit before perishing. The trooper was holding ammo for his squad, which the cohort was able to recover for their own use and later repurposing. Um, so we have to go there. And there. I'm half tempted to go ahead and clear that mission out first. Because we can spend... clear that mission out first, and then work our way back here, and then do these missions in order. That one, that one, and that one. Let's do that, let's do that, let's do that, let's do that. Sounds like word is already spreading. Damnation. Gossip moves faster than any data virus. The cohort passes close by a unit of Skatari moving toward their post elsewhere in the tomb. Tech priests overhear the Skatari discussing rumors of an alpha who has gone missing in the tomb. Admonish the Skatari for spreading illogical and harmful rumors, surely deleterious to security and morale. Question the Skatari about what they were speaking about and warn the Skatari about the deadly threat of nearby Necrons, in the hope this information will focus them on their mission and not the fate of the Alpha. Um, what are you speaking about? Thanks, Olympus Mons. They don't know our rogue, about our rogue Alpha at all, after all. We better make sure it stays that way. The Skatari are evasive, but eventually it becomes clear they're discussing a Skatari officer who fell down a seemingly bottomless shaft in the tomb and was never seen again. 
Convenient. I'm gone. Okay. Cliff time. Uh. What do we got here? Let's have a look. Blackstone's there. Uh, I guess the rest of them are pretty much heels, I think, aren't they? Um, that is cognition. That's blackstone. What's that then? That is a heal one unit, and that is a negative of some kind, I assume. Yes. Um, we don't need so much cognition, we'll get blackstone. All right. I guess make the move to get over there. Uh, it's a heal, isn't it? That's cognition. I'll take cognition. Fine. Uh, so rush down here, do this fight, then go back to deal with those fights. They're minus two, or two now. This Katari trooper lies dead in the floor of this chamber. It is clearly not the alpha you seek. There is no sign of the telltale Necron Gauss fire, and the body has not yet been dismembered in the typical member of a flame run attack. Um, score and ignore the body. It is not the only de dead trooper in the trooper of Jiao. True. Check the adjoining chambers in case there's a bait, a bait for a trap or suspicion. You can just examine the body. Um. Scorn. Just speed up. Okay, we got initiative. Nice. Um, good. Okay, scanner destroy. It's beneficial. Lich guards. Scanner destroys. There are two things to scanner destroy. Given there are two things, I'm assuming this is going to be a kill everything as well. So, um, Beric, there. Starjackal, there. Bosk, there. Morthen, there. Okay. Um, start battle. Okay. okay, so first of all, you're going to move up to here. Let's go ahead and summon a reinforcements. Skatari Vanguard all the way back. Can we all the way back there? No, all the way back all the way over here. Power you up. Let's hit you with the cognitive canister. Okay, take a step over there. Uh, got condition as well. You get all three to a single attack. Okay, that solves that problem. I'll freeze as a single attack. If the Vargard changes places with one element, I'd be very happy indeed. Um, thank you. Damage done across the board. Not to everybody, but to most of them. Shield up as well. Move to there. No, not suspect activity detected. I flayed ones. Um, move you to there. Shoot you. You're down as well. Um, 
attack the selected uh, attack the selected target good thank you which point you move up to here Grab that. Walk up to walk up to here. Walk up to here. Hit you with that. And we're pretty much out of stuff at this point, right? Yes. We'll take the plus two damage to the next troops for all attack. And honestly, um, Electromancer, give me Electromancer right now. Next, right, you. They start shooting individual targets. North Armor. Five to seven. Okay, that's fine. You can move over there. Next, right. Grab that. Walk up to here. Okay, that's not too bad then. We can deal with that. Um, it means it's not going to be it's not going to be this turn, unfortunately, but we can work with it. Okay, you can grab there. Um, I'm going to slam it down on this one. At this point, you walk over here. Get that. Hit that. Hit that. Banaric Harvest. Because that means we can probably get that beam hitting all of them there. Yay for your super crits. Yay for the super crits. Um, point hit you. Miss you down. We'll move everyone up as much as possible then. Let's hit you with that. Let's do a check on you. Because Bostro can kill you Bostro can kill you fairly easily then. Alright, you get prepared to leave. There you go. Right. Um Morthen. Move over here. You got a culvern actually. If you got a culvern, you can stand over there. Uh no you got you, You're ignoring armor at the moment, aren't you? You're ignoring armor. Okay, if you're ignoring armor, less. Condition freedom. Double crit. Beautifully executed. Uh, move over here. As we've killed pretty much all the enemies are dead. Um, hit that with that. Move all the way. The exit, pretty much. We are not, in fact, going to uh, wipe you out simply because you are a good source of cognition. There, good. Sorted. Sorted. Uh, might as well grab the cognition from there as well. 
and Bosco can rake this distance from super fast. Unfortunately, you're still there, but needs us maybe. Um, walk away over there. Probably some grab on you. Move up to there. End the turn. Okay, it's good. Uh, I'm done. Beric. I was gonna say if you had a, if you had the cognition to make a dent right, that'd be great. But you don't. But it doesn't matter. You just leave. And cognition's there. Good. Pretty decent that one. Uh, session complete. Go back. So we're gonna do that one. We'll go hit that one, that one, and that one. That's it. If we don't, mm, if we don't really need to, we don't even need to go for that one, do we? We're gonna go for this one here. Make sure we get into this fight here with zero. That's the dream. We get into that fight there with zero awakening. Two point one. Can I destroy those two? Really? I'm assuming, hang on, I am assuming that we're gonna have to kill things. Um Honestly honestly, this is gonna be a, a bit of a, a bit of a, a cheat slash misplay, but if I can just avoid doing that entirely. If I can just avoid doing this completely. I will just do it. Here you go. Uh shoot that one. Um, Planaric Harvest. Move over there. That was the wrong person, damn it. Uh, Eric, take a step back. Right. You just shoot that from there. We done? Is that it? Nope. They're like, oh, everything's coming up now. Fine. Okay. So not. You still have to escape. <laughs> the game isn't that. The game is not that nice. Fine. I guess. Um... Move over there. I was like, maybe the game. Like, maybe the game is going to be nice to us. No, the game is not going to be nice to us. Don't be silly. Let's take that the Vargard. Critical damage on you, that's fine. Move down here. Let's check out your stats, actually. That kills you. Brilliant. <laughs> fine. Fantastic, not a problem. Take a step closer. Cognition grab there. Let's see, you can shoot that one, but no, you're out of gun. Uh, in which case, just make it to the exit. Uh, you're not gonna get another turn, so might as well do that. Next. Morthen. We can wipe you out real easy. Double cognition off for you. Oh, technically you can have a turn, are you? Oh well. You can have a turn, or you're gonna be able to do anything about it. Okay, it's not a problem then. Grab those. Shoot you with that. Make your way to the exits. Use your cognition claw as well over here. 
moves to there. Again, you're not going to get another turn, so I might as well do that. You're gonna be coming this way, which is not gonna do much for you. Alright. Bosk. Move to here. Get a flamer shot on both of them. Uh, cognition freedom. Flamer Rex destroys both of them. Move up to there. Uh, cognition grab on you. And then I could just leave. I think I could just leave now. Um, fine. Beric, just make a move, please. Go stand over there. Grab that. Grab that. Okay, so this. Let's work on the fact that escapes are required in the tomb of Jow, so we shall move on with that in mind. We should drop down to somewhere at zero. Yep, minus four, plus three heals, Blackstone. You go up to one. Let's, just, let's assume escape is required. Kill all enemies. In this case, escape is not required. That's fine and dandy. Uh, There's something you could destroy over there. Other than that, we are in the clear. Um, where's is who's you? Vargard's over there. You. Okay, so Beric, put you over here. I'm also going to put in the vanguards over here, and the vanguard alpha over here. The ranger alpha, sorry. You can start shooting you. You can go over there, kill that one. Um, Morthen can move up to here as well. Okay, good. Next start of battle. Okay, you are going to immediately summon reinforcements as well. The Vanguard Alpha can go here. Okay, you're going to cast Bless. You're going to cast um, Troop Bless. You're going to... Tell Troop to attack this thing. You're going to put a thing on that troop over there. You're going to overzealous for binary harvest. Is that you need to No, okay, fine. You're going to condition freedom for that. Beam there. At which point you move, you go over. Um, here. You go ahead and shoot um, that one. Shield up there. Take a step over there. Grab that there. 
push you back a square there. I could just hop in there and hop back out again. And our guard goes down. Good. Uh, in this case, I kind of want to move into melee with you, don't I? If it's all possible, so we'll move into melee with you. Thank you. You are going to straight up just zap this one. At which point you can move up. You can move along this way. Oh, good critical as well. Nice. Which means that... Can you go over here? You can use freedom. Hit that. I guess the kills. I wanted to. I'd, I'd killed too many things too quickly, unfortunately. Also, I thought that was wrong. Person, I thought I was on more than for a second there. And it doesn't matter. We got what we wanted. All right, last fight. And uh, you know. Proceeding with as little as possible scanner destroys there. Okay, so there's an en there are enemies here. We gotta scan and destroy back there. Which means this is gonna take at least two turns. It's unavoidable. Um, Eric. Eric there. Boscro there. Morthen there. Ardekel there. Do I bring out any of my... Vanguard Alpha can come out now as well. Okay, you, Beric, will... First things first, you're going to... Um, move up to this guy here. Actually, that was, that was irrelevant. You're going to be here just to stop things from happening. Uh, grab that. Hit you with this. Beautiful. Move to the edge there. point you're going to bless. This is the last fight, isn't it? This is the last fight. This is the last fight. I can get some good shots off here. It'll be fine. In which case, we are going to... Um, summon reinforcements. Summon the vanguard over here. We're going to all troop for the next attack. At which point you're going to go for the Cognition of Freedom. Um, give you the bonus there. At which point, uh, get the shot. Uh, you get the shot out there, it gets both of them. We're gonna use we're gonna use the um canticle to do more damage. Well I think about 12 armor this is gonna be doing more damage anyway. So hit him, hit him with that canticle there. It should knock them both down, kills one of them outright as well. Good. Uh at which point you've got one point left over. Unfortunately, I was in range for that shot. Um, that's fine, I suppose. You will firstly shoot this one. Then attack again. Take a step back all the way over here. Shoot that one. Move all the way over there. 
Okay, so you're also moving up over here. And you will cognition grab this one. At which point you can do binary harvest. Because then you can get you can get those three in a single one. Again, it would be nice to have the, the black stone. I'd rather just get this thing done as soon as possible. Get the bless out as well. Oh, move closer. Run, coward. Now you go down. It's good, which means you're pretty much ready for the next turn there. Only thing left alive is that. Um, over there, so you move over that. Move over there, Morthen. Uh, we will meet this bless. Um, right there. Cognition gauge fill. I don't think I can get the shot off, can I? No, I can kill off some of these, though. And that's that one down. Okay, so we're in the clear here. You just sit over here and chill. Oscar, you just sit over there and chill. No one needs healing. Move over there. Move around. Okay, good. Uh, Barrett, go stand over there. Everything's been scanned or destroyed, I think. And they'll even need to kill the enemy. Good. That's not that's not too bad at all. He's too far gone, Magos. Oops, sorry. He's too far gone, Magos. I can't make this decision this decision for you. The Madskatari Alpha is hunched against the wall in front of you. He has ripped out his augmetics and one of his eye sockets is empty. It is a scene of gory horror. His, his breathing is labored. He is filthy with blood. Try to exorcise the madness with prayer. Execute the officer. He's beyond help and he presents too to serious a threat for the morale of the mission. Or extract. Restrain the officer so he can be returned to Kiss's Metallican. Try to exorcise this madness with prayer. The course begins to pray, the Alpha lets out an ear-splitting scream and flees. The court corners him in the chamber, given that we used to remove his advanced bionics. He leaps at them with a plasma cutter in hand, and they shoot him dead before he can harm them. At least his bionics, scattered across the floor, can be recovered, even if the man himself cannot. Mission complete! The Alpha's corpse is carried out of the tomb by the cohort. In a shelter clearly nearby, the body is doused in Prometheum and burned. No trace of the Alpha's madness remains, and the matter is treated from then on as, as though it never occurred. Sorry, indeed, but it had to be done. My thanks, Magos. Even the Skatari are not immune to the psychological casualties. If the word got out of this Alpha's madness, they would only have become more susceptible. The war, every soldier has his weaknesses. It is a logical necessity for a commander to take them into account in the decision-making process. I'd rather we were defined by our strengths and not our weaknesses. But missions like this remind me how fragile we are in a place like those tombs of Silver Tenebris. It is the ideal that the priest will kill all those weaknesses by making a physical form closer to the machine. True fearlessness has yet to be attained. I mean, in that respect, the Necrons are far ahead of you, and the flaws are still to be removed. Varn cards are just inconvenient at this point. They just like you have to take them into account because you know whoever you're attacking, they will replace the most valuable person of that group. 
Although they are the most the, the, they are the most valuable person. You killed four Lich Guard and four Var Guard, and we got way more money from the Var Guard than we got for the Lich Guard. Anyway. Quick simple. We got ourselves a new a new a new uh, Magos to use. And also got level three of the Skatari Vanguard. Plus two damage, plus three to movement, plus then oh my god, that's actually very good. If that's a passive, that's ridiculous. You're much better. You do six to eight damage now. And you can type twice in a single turn. Sorry, I had to cough. Um, I'm liking that. What's next? War games. Castellan Robot Level 1. Okay, we have our we're taking you next. Absolutely puzzlutely. Castellan Robot Level 1. Um again, we're, we're doing this at zero awakening, so we got to find out what a Castellan robot is. But I mean, like, again, these things were added to the Mechanicus army lists after I stopped playing 40k, so I think I've seen the models, but I have no idea what they are. So I'm looking forward to seeing what a Castellan robot is. I'm assuming they're the ones that go in the back here. Right, folks, I shall carry you all. Carry? I shall see you all next time. Take care of yourselves until then. Bye-bye.